Hey everybody, welcome back to another Tech Simplified video. In today's video, I'm going to be installing Microsoft Office 2003 on my IBM ThinkPad T30, window, running Windows XP. So let's dive right down into it, shall we? See if this thing is going to boot up, because um, to be honest with you, it's been a long time and I really really hope it's going to so here we go I know the battery's dead in. oh there it goes yeah the battery is de completely depleted of course but um yeah nice booting up might take a little bit here because the CMOS is dead so I'm gonna reset that really quickly Oh, yes, there it is. Microsoft Windows XP. Oh, it's glorious, is it not? Wow, I will admit with you guys, that's that startup sound and jingle. It never gets old. I get, you know, I get chills every time I hear it because it's just incredible era for Microsoft. It, it truly is. And oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop in this S, this uh, almost said SD card. What am I saying? I'm gonna pop in the CD here on the side, and uh, we'll get started. All right, did a whole bunch of stuff. This is a license agreement. I had to put in the key and everything and whatnot. Instead of doing a typical install, I would like to do the complete install just because, just, just, just because. I just want, I just want to open Word. I want to be able to see it. I want to see everything. I might not take a look at everything today, but I just want to see Microsoft Word just because it's so older and I just, I love it. I love the way it is. So, well, here we go. I'm gonna press in install, and uh, we'll, uh, I'll get back to you in a moment. Alright, here we are, it's finished. So normally I don't like to delete the installation files because those could be used to fix windows, you know, and things like that. But, uh, well, here we go. Zoom out here and I will, uh, I will press start. And I gotta see if I, I think it's in programs I can go to. And, um, at least it should be, it should be in programs. Or I, maybe I can search for it. It's been a while since I used Windows XP, so let me see. Don't mind my squeaky chair either. <laughs> uh, no, 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 this is not going to be it. Oh, wait, maybe I go start all programs. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's where it is. Oh, wait. Like, I know that's a new document, but I want to go straight to Word. Where is the... Oh, right here, right here. Right. There it is. Oh, so that we have to drop that menu. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, yeah. So we'll do a press on that, and we'll load in the Microsoft for it. There it is! I love the loading screen. I always love the loading screen in Microsoft offices, even 2007 as well. It's just a classic. Oh. Well, we can't connect to the internet right now, so hopefully I can just bypass that. Just leave it be. Hopefully when I press X, it doesn't close out, because I'd hate that. Okay, good. It's still there. It's still there. Sweet. Awesome. Sweet, man. I'll just type in, like, hello world, and it's pretty fast. I know it's Windows XP, and everything's always everything was always fast Windows XP, but that's pretty good, though. Well, that's that's Microsoft Office 2003, y'all. I will most certainly be doing lots and lots and lots of stuff on this channel. But, until then, I want to say thanks for watching, and uh, I'll list all my other channels down below. I'd like you to check out and a couple uh, amazing people of mine, their channels I want you to check out, and I'll link all that in the description below as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, so I want to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, you guys are watching Tech Simplified. <laughs>